Fitzroy by 35 points. Walls. Egan. Scoop out. Who to? Dunstan. Dummies and Weaves. A call from Stoneham. You look for Abbey. Edmund is there too. Higgins claimed the mark at Clown, but he got it out nicely towards Taylor. Smith going up the ground but for the hand pass, but he elects to go to Allen. Perusic. Dunstan through the centre, runs his fair share, looking for Templeton. Serafini in front. Collides with Edmund. There's Edmund now. Higgins over the top of him. Play on the call. Actually, there's an advantage play there because Higgins was going to get the free kick, but it spooned out to Taylor. Here's Allen. Irwin. Into half forward. A long kick by Irwin. It could be shepherded through. It has been. It's a goal. Fitzroy's 12th and the first to Warwick Irwin from about 55 metres out on the run. Fitzroy with a match-winning 41-point lead at the 10-minute mark. Third term as Alexander goes crunch. Oh. But Fitzroy is still with the advantage now as McMahon and the man running through. Their handball is much better this court. Quinlan only metres out. And just missed. Little selfish. But I suppose uh, players calling for it, but he was on his own. McGee. Fitzroy by 42 points. Walls. McCarthy. Bad bounce. Perusic. Off the ground. Foreman number 42. Higgins. Possibly best on ground along with Smith at centre half back. Harris. Draws a player. Finds Quinlan. Stoneham coming in from the side. Out to McCarthy, in the pocket to O'Keefe. Cowton coming into O'Keefe. He sidesteps him, fires, and has scored his second goal this quarter. And it's raining goals from a Fitzroy point of view at the present time. 11 minutes played, third quarter, Fitzroy 13-10-88, Footscray 6-4-40. Four goals in this quarter to Fitzroy's, or foot rather, four goals to, to Fitzroy to one to Footscray. Double hand by Alexander, he wanted to make sure of that one. Kelly. Oh, the pass is good uh, up to uh, Morrison. Morrison uh, just borderline whether or not he can make the distance from here. Templeton can fly from the back, but they were holding him down, those Fitzroy defenders who could pick that one. And everything's going well for them now. O'Keefe takes the handball. A nice pass downfield to Irwin, who's uh, playing strongly on the wing in this third term. Wasn't too good for the first two quarters. It's his 11th kick. Aiming for Walls. Captain's uh, his opponent knocks it away, but his arm is across Walls' shoulder. You can see that, and Walls will take the free kick. Outer side wing, Robert Walls. Leads uh, plenty of them up the field, but he goes sideways to O'Keefe. They replaced Wilson in the second quarter. It's a Fitzroy mark to McMahon. And he's right in front, about 35 to 40 metres out. He hasn't scored a goal yet. This will be his eighth kick. And this will put Fitzroy nine goals in front. If he kicks it, he's missed it. Quite badly, a behind only. That's his third behind in the match. Fitzroy 13-11-89 to Footscray 6-4-40. A crowd of about 15,000 people at BFL Park. Of course, the big crowd today up at Princess Park to see Carlton and Collingwood. McGee getting the high sign from a couple of his players running out into position. Dunson's one of them. And low. Oh, gee whiz, that's a fine piece of marking by Irwin. That's not a mark, though. His teammate Allen takes it from him and goes left-right, whichever way you like. Then to Walls, who takes his time and steers that one to uh, Max Richardson. He gets a lead to centre-half forward from Beecroft. It was a fumbled one. Gives Footscray every chance in the world now. Harris is 38, and uh, McCarthy got a bird to it. And ha I think it was Beecroft again, was it? No, it was Harris, who uh, tried to kick it whilst it was in there. And it's another behind to Fitzroy. 25 shots to 10 in the game. McGee, out to Cowton, who's been a most disappointing player for Footscray. Third kick. If he gets it, he's going to hand pass it. Ends up with Dunstan. 
through centre half back. Doesn't know where to put it. There's no one up there to kick it to. That's why he took so long to dispose of it. That's Cordy. Morrison gets a push in the back. A little accidental by Alexander though. Morrison uh, turned his back on play and put his rump right in the front of uh, Big Ron Alexander. Now his target will be Templeton. He's kicked it high. Uh, every chance for Templeton now. He's behind though. And there's Big Hansen at full back. And just runs away from the Footscray forwards. Out to Smith. Walls is there. So is Edmund. That's Cordy. Out to Bristow. Scrubby old kick. Intercepted by Alexander. It's a nice call from uh, Fowler. Then on to Higgins. Oh, as easy as you like. Oh, that was Smith who dropped that sitter, but that's the only mistake he's made all day. Harris. O'Keefe. Diving mark by O'Keefe, and he's taken it centre half forward. Out to Max Richardson, off the fingertips of Reed, who's been a very quiet player. Richardson fires in towards uh, Beecroft, and he's marked only 25 metres out. He's kicked five, Beecroft. It's mark number six. And Fitzroy lead by 50 points at VFL Park. Heading for their sixth straight win. Beecroft lines up, fires. And it just scrapes in, I think. Yes, it's a goal. That's his sixth. And the 14th to Footscray. To Fitzroy, rather. They lead by 56 points. 14, 12, 96. Footscray, 6, 4, 40. We've played nearly 16 minutes now in this third quarter. Bit of a squeak. There's a ball spouse in the centre. And Temple and back for a spell on the ruck. Shame, isn't it? League's top full forward last year and brought out the ruck to help him out because Footscray don't have enough good players out there to get the ball to him. Here's Cap. The grand finalist player with uh, North Melbourne, so he should know what tight situations are about. Russick. And Irvin to throw in. 16 Hanson, 31 Templer. Temple and the Ruckman now nicely palmed down to Hawkins, the Rover. Held too high, would get the uh, kick before he was grabbed from behind, that is. Hawkins breaks away into the centre of the ground to Edmund and Keyes. Taylor takes the ball away. Handball's quite good at this stage as Higgins takes it from him, puts it into the arms of Harris. Quinlan waits for it to come out, it does. He picked up nicely, though. He could kick it from here, he just races on the the handball now to O'Keefe has kicked two in this quarter. Backwards now to McMahon. He's in a tight spot. Oh, O'Keefe and Fowler now with a chance. Meters out. Oh, he's missed it. Righty. I thought he would have buried that right into the, uh, the fence. One behind. Which takes Fitzroy to a 57-point lead. McGee. Big Hanson and Templeton. Templeton in front, but knocked away by Hanson. Egan, he's played pretty well. It's a uh, little fault of his that uh, Fitzroy is so far in front. Perusic. Up to half forward, Smith. Taylor. Somebody talking all the time for Fitzroy. Ends up with Taylor again after a series of hand passes from Harris. Big Hansen gets away from Templeton nicely. A good 25 metre hand pass finds Allen. They won't uh, catch him. Up towards uh, Max Richardson and Beecroft. Ball bouncing free. Murray, who's been a very quiet player. Out to Foreman. Oh, the ball bounces the wrong way. That typifies uh, Footscray's situation. That's Dunstan and Irwin doing battle. Richardson comes in. Dunstan hovering over the ball. And the free kick going Dunstan's way. Fitzroy 97, Footscray 40. We've played 19 minutes in the third quarter. And Dunstan just dribbles that ball down to the wing to Cordy, who's been very disappointing. And that ball, incidentally, was across the uh, boundary line. A lot of good names and a lot of good players in this Footscray team, but, uh, gee, they're so down on confidence. 
uh, and in each other, as a matter of fact, that they, they were beginning nowhere. Now, one of them only won the two games for the season. On um, their performance today, that's all they deserve to do. Cordy now takes it away. Playing down the flanks makes it uh, very difficult to, uh, to get anything going, so they don't have the room to move. Well, a disappointing game and fit. It's a beautiful pass to Beecroft, who's already kicked two from two shots. Three minutes into the second quarter. Oh, it's a bad bounce. It fits away every chance then. Wilson flicks the ball onwards towards the uh, Springvale right in. Reed, the handball of the man coming through. Oh, that was good play there. By Murray, actually, who kicked the ball towards the half forward line. He's caught in number 29, and a good tackle put on him. He's still in possession, but gets rid of it cleanly. Good play, Temple into Morrison. Now, Footscray look as though they've got something. Detroit 42, Footscray 20, 14 and a half minutes, second quarter. On the Fowler, delayed the hand pass to Quinlan, which I think was probably the wrong thing to do. Wrong footer, taken by Perusik. Up towards Morrison and uh, Templeton. And Templeton of this who's taken the mark with his socks down. Out wide to Dunstan, he can run right in. There's nobody there, have a ton of time to look. Fires and it's a goal to Footscray. Kelly. Harris. There's O'Keefe again. Stoneham. Had a fair few kicks but hasn't done a great deal with them. 14th kick. Up. Good mark by Bristow, it's being paid. But it was Smith for Fitzroy who cleared it through Serafini now and will come back uh, to Alexander. Huffing and puffing as he gets the kick back into the centre of the ground. McCarthy with a hack away from uh, his opponent. The pass down to Richardson on, uh, on the half forward flank was a beauty. Here they go with a handball. Quinlan, centre player, has a long, he can kick it easily from here, but unselfishly he's going into a teammate in Fowler. Fowler out towards O'Keefe and O'Keefe back towards Beecroft. He just lay back in the armchair. Oh, and he's the ball. Miles away. Yeah. Tenth kick to low. Won't even make the distance, which was a poor attempt. That's Hanson. He's marked in defence. It's a call out wide from Harris, but it's going to drop into Serafini's hands. He'll probably go for Harris. Oh, a good smother there by Hawkins. Serafini's got to double back and go for a scrubby old kick to O'Keefe. Templeton behind. Won't have too much trouble outmarking the smaller O'Keefe. 